cute coffee gal and I am back with part 20 of my decades challenge. The last part was definitely a very eventful part um, <laughs> and a bit of a sad part. If you'll remember, uh, we had uh, a secret uh, wedding. Uh, we had William and Marie. Was it Marie? I'm going to forget her name now, aren't I? Yes, William and Marie went off and eloped. And then both William and Charles, or uh, not Charles, William and Robert were sent off to World War One. Um, and we checked in on Rose. She had triplets, but one of them, unfortunately, was stillborn. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but Marie is pregnant. So we had William and Marie tried for a baby before he went off to war. He survived World War I, and so he is back home. And Marie is eating for two, which is very exciting. And then we also had Robert went off to war after trying for a baby with Margaret, and he unfortunately did not survive. And so everybody, if you can see down here, is really sad um, because of Robert dying. And then Margaret moved back home with her parents. Right before she moved back home, though, uh, I did get a notification that she is also expecting. So Robert is going to have a baby, even though he has passed away. So I did off camera have him eat the cow plant uh, cake a second time. And so he is no longer in the household. Also, what happened while we were... Uh, I was playing just a little bit off camera, is that Lillian has aged up into a teenager. So this is Lillian. And if you'll recall, she is our little uh, evil sim. Though she doesn't act very evil. I'm hoping that that does not manifest as she gets older. Um, <laughs> but we do have now in the household, uh, we have Samuel who aged up in the last part. And so he is now an elder. So we've got him sitting over here and he looks really uncomfortable. What is going on? Um, here, why don't you go take a shower, honey? Um, he, uh, is over here with, um, Clara. Clara still needs to age up as well, but she's a lot younger than him because she wasn't aging when she was pregnant, um, which is fine. We've also got William, who is officially our heir now because he was the second, uh, son. And since Robert did not survive, it now falls to William. So his wife, Marie, is here in the house with him, and she will be having a baby probably in this part. I think she's in her second trimester. Um, yes, she will meet her third trimester in 18 hours. So she may have the baby on this part, or it might be the next one. We'll just see how far we get. And then we also have uh, Charles is right over here. He is our next teen that will be aging up. Let's see, when does he age up? He's got two more days, but we do need to get him married. And he does have a bit of a relationship going. Um, it is with, let's see, what is her name? I forget. Bessie. So he and Bessie uh, are lovebirds. And so we will definitely uh, have someone for him to marry. And then we've got Walter, who is also, they're all just so darn sad. Look at them. It's just like really sad. Um, but Walter, uh, he does need to find a bride for himself. So let's actually take a look real quick and see who he has been chit chatting with. So he's got, um, a little bit of relationship with Ethel and a little bit of relationship with Marie. So Ethel is the sister of, um, of this Marie. There's two Maries now. Um, Ethel is the sister of this Marie and Margaret. So I'm kind of inclined to not have him uh, date her simply because then that would be two or three sisters marrying brothers in this family. Um, Marie is, her brother is um, Frank, who is married to Rose. And also Florence. Is she still a teen? She is. So Florence or Marie might be an option um, and then let's see, we also have Bertha who is sisters with Bessie and Bessie is with Charles. Are we getting confused yet? Um, <laughs> so I'm kind of inclined to have him date, um, Florence or Marie. And it looks like Marie he has a little bit more relationship with, but I'm actually a little inclined to not go that route just because I don't want there to be two Maries. That would be really confusing. So I might have him date Florence. We'll see. And then we have Lillian, um, who has not been talking with any boys yet. But there are several teen boys in the game that we need to take a look at. Um, 
all of the boys in the other households, all of the children, excuse me, in the other households have all aged up into teens. So I did real quick pop into all of those households just to make sure that they were um, all dressed appropriately. So I do know we've got some teen boys for Lillian to get to know. So maybe we'll have them all go to church uh, tomorrow. It's Saturday, so maybe on Sunday they'll all go to church. We also have... Um, Clara has in her inventory, she has the remains of Robert, so we need to take those and put them in the cemetery. So that might be a good thing for us to do with them tomorrow, is to go to church, meet up with some of the other people in town so that we can make sure everybody's paired up with the spouse, and then also get those uh, remains put into the cemetery. All right, so I've had William come try to cheer up his dad. I feel really bad that William has not gotten that depressed about Robert dying. Um, <laughs> he's like the only family member that's not all that sad, which is kind of odd. And then let's see. Um, here, you can console about death. Sure. Let's... Is it under clubs? Yeah. Convince leader to step down. Let's see if this does it. I don't know if it will or not, but we'll give it a shot. They have a fantastic relationship. It's like completely full, so. Oh no, it sounds like he's doing this like in a mean way. Oh, maybe that worked? Did it work? I can't tell. You're right, maybe you should lead the farm hands. Excellent, okay, so are we in charge of it now? We are. Perfect. Okay, so that worked really well. And then let's see, we've got, oh, we have an opening now that um, Robert is no longer in the farm hands. Should we add Walter to it? Because Walter is not in the farm hands at this point. Add Walter. Okay, which also reminds me about the women's auxiliary. We should do the same thing. We should make sure, uh oh, here, come repair that. Um, we should make sure that Marie is a member, and then we should also make her be the new, um, the new head of it. But I don't know if their relationship's all that strong, so maybe we should have them get to know each other a bit better before we ask her to do it. Oh my goodness, she's all the way out here in the garden with them. So let's have Clara, after she's done fixing that... We're going to have her ask for advice, and let's have her ask to feel the baby. It's her grandchild. Discuss some interests. We'll just kind of have them get to know each other a bit better. And then how is the garden doing? Oh, lots of things that need to be harvested. So let's uh, go ahead and have them. Why can't he? Is he too sad? Oh, just I clicked on the wrong thing. Here, have him harvest all. And we'll have him come and, let's see, harvest all those who are asleep. So we'll just let them keep sleeping. But once we get everything harvested, we can call the farmhands over. And I do want to have the guys go. I think I mentioned this in the last part. I want to have them go around to some of the other cities. Um, like they've gone off on a buying trip to go buy some more seeds. So that is something I want to do. Um... We also need to kind of keep an eye on how old um, the kids are over in Rose's house because once those infants um, age up into toddlers, we'll be able to change their names into age-appropriate names, which I do have a couple of names that I have picked out for the girls, um, for the, the two surviving girls. So they're going to be, uh, well, I'll let you know when I get there. Um, and so there's that, and then what else? There's one other thing I want to, well, we're going to definitely have to figure out a name for the baby that William and, um, Marie are having. So that will be good, but let's go ahead. Um, thank you for letting us know that Rose. Um, let's have him get into a better mood because I want to have him and Bessie get married. Um, <laughs> So he's crying. That's fine. That's helping to reduce his sadness there. Um, and then let's uh, have him go ahead and, yeah, he's going to go to the bathroom and then we'll have him eat something and then we'll call her over. Um, I think that they're, they're both still teens. 
Sure, like, just keep being friendly. No um, so we can't have them get have him propose yet, but his birthday is coming up. What did I say? Two days? Oh, he's a D student. We should probably do his homework. Um, his birthday is yes in two days. So when this gets to zero, then I'll be able to age him up, and we will age up uh, Bessie as well, and then they can get married. Lots of things to keep track of, you guys. Oh, and I was going to make a loan payment in the last part, and I didn't do it, um, which we have a significant amount of cash here um, from all of the plants that we've been harvesting. And actually, there's probably a few more in their inventory at this point, so I bet we could get even more. So I'm going to real quick sell all of these plants, and then we will make a loan payment. I'll let you know how much that is. Okay, so I now have almost 33 thousand simoleons which is just crazy um we haven't gotten bills in a while so i don't want to pay off like thirty thousand. let's do i'm gonna pay off twenty five thousand. so okay what is that math oh and it's almost charles's birthday excellent i'm glad we got that notification okay so <laughs> time to do math if we want to take twenty five thousand out of their household then 7,997, that is what we want their money to be. So testing, cheats on money, 7,997. And this is a 25,000 simoleon payment. And we'd already paid off 15. So that means that we've got 40,000 of the 65,000 simoleons are paid off. So I had hoped that before Samuel and Clara passed away that we would be able to get this loan paid off in full. And if we've only got 25,000 left to go and that's how much we just did, I actually feel pretty good about that. I think that we've got a decent shot of having um, having that loan paid off. So that's kind of exciting to, to kind of check that off the list. Um, let's see, is Charles feeling any better? He is still pretty darn sad. Um, he's doing makeup homework. Oh yeah, because he has a D, which is just ridiculous. Um, why are we all like, this is so weird, everybody's upstairs. Sure, why not? We'll let him keep doing his homework, and then once he does that, he's in a really bad mood. You know what? One thing, as I was cleaning out all the plants, I realized, here, let me pause it for a second. One of the things that we haven't done is that every time somebody, um, gets eaten by the cow plant and then you had to milk it, I still have, um, I've been throwing away any of the milks that were like uncomfortable, but we still have the ones that are like people in a good mood. So where is, let's see, William's essence of happiness um, is still here. And then there were a whole bunch of them in Samuel's from when his brothers all died. Yeah, these are all happiness. So I actually, what I might do, I might have some of these really uncomfortable Sims drink one of them so that we're all in a good mood. I don't feel like that's cheating because they, it's, it's like something that's generated from within the game. Where is he? He's here. Yeah. See, he's in such a terrible mood. That's, I'm going to do it. I've never done this before. So I'm not sure exactly. Levi was one of his brothers. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Cause like I said, I've never done it before. Is she in a bad mood? No, she's just tired. And she just needs a bath desperately. He is just hungry, but he is in a horrible mood. Let's have him, let's come back over here. So he was drinking Levi. James is his dad. So we're gonna have Charles drink his great grandfather's. No, his grandfather's. <laughs> we'll have him do that after he's done with his homework. And then is he in a bad mood? How are you doing, Walter? Walter's not horrible, so we'll leave, we'll leave him alone. And Lillian, Lillian is, she's not great, but she's not horrible either. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna like save that for later. So let's see, I wanna watch, how does Samuel do this? So he drinks it. Ooh, he glows, that's kinda cool. So then what happens? He... Like, nothing happened, right? Did y'all... Is that how that's supposed to work? Like, literally nothing happened. Here, come here. You're not... 
Okay. Oh, it gives him a happiness buff, but it doesn't actually fix his stuff. Oh, well, that's kind of pointless. Because he's got all these other buffs that he doesn't... Oh, he's sad from being overthrown. That's sad. Um... So is it going to do anything for Charles? Okay, it maybe helped him a little bit because he didn't have as many other... Well, he's so he's got happiness buffs now. I'm confused about how that works. Okay, here. You're going to come cry it out and then you're going to sleep for a bit. Oh. Nope, they're not going to go on a date. Bessie could come over here, but they're not going to go on a date. Um, and honestly, I might not even have her come over here yet. Oh, the cow plant. Look, the cow plant needs to be fed again. Okay. Let's have... She's in such a... Oh, she's taking a bath, though. When she gets done with her bath, I will have Marie come down here and feed it. Um, but I just kind of need to get everybody in a better mood. And if I can get them in a good enough mood, I might have them do some farming. Um, and then we'll go to church tomorrow. I think that, that that's a good plan. All right, it's the next morning, and most of them have gotten a good night's sleep. Um, we're doing a lot better. I do know that Marie is now officially in her third trimester and will be giving birth at any moment, so I am a little bit nervous about traveling to the church with her, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Most of them need some fun. That's the big problem is that they are all still sad and that they need some fun. So I am going to have Samuel go ahead and let's travel with everybody let's see everybody here and then um let's see friends oh, we could have rose come too wait why didn't it save it save all those huh okay let's do it this way this way william and marie and walter sure rose and frank Lillian. Oh, Margaret may have had her babies by now. We'll have to check and see. Clara. Charles. Oh, he can only travel with a certain number. Okay, that's the problem. So let's take Frank and Rose out of here. Let's have Charles, Clara. Well, we'll just travel with the household. We'll just travel with the household for the moment. Okay, so we're here at the local parish. It looks like Ethel Harwood, who is a teen, is already here. So maybe we'll have Walter come and say hi to her. He's not, he hasn't made it yet. Here, let's play for a second. Get everybody else here. Bring here. And bring here. And bring here. All right, pause. I want you to introduce yourself. Just go away. I wonder what that interaction means. Friendly introduction. And then, who else is here? Is anybody else just here naturally? I don't know who you are. None of those. They're all our people. Let's see. Anybody inside the church? Outside? Upstairs? Who is this? Somebody else I don't know. Okay, so none of our other people from the neighborhood are here. So that's fine. We'll just have to call them over. Let's have... I bet Lillian, well, maybe she does from being in, like, grammar school with him. Let's see. Does she know any of the boys? No, she does not. So we won't have her do it. What about Walter? Has he met any of them? He knows way more people. Goodness. Um, I think Harry is still a teen. So we'll invite him to hang out. Okay. What about this one? Who does he know? John is a young adult, so no. Emma is a teen. And let's see. Well, we definitely wanted Bessie to come. And then, does William know anybody else? Any of the other teen boys? Let's see, is Edward a teen? Yes, we'll invite him to hang out. And I think we already got somebody inviting Harry. Man, he knows all of these ghosts. He's met, the, these are all the brothers. Um, this is his grandfather, and these are all his uncles that died. So he somehow has met them all as ghosts. I don't know how. Um, <laughs> and then Marie. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, Robert's a ghost. It's so sad. Okay. And then Clara, while we are here, I'm going to have her place. Let's see. I think that this is, yeah, this is Esther. Let's go ahead. I'm going to pop this out here. And we will let this be the final resting place for Robert. So we're going to have her come engrave an epitaph. And it will say, um, taken before, or no, he served his country well. If I could spell. There we go. Because he fought in World War One. So, Robert Johnson, he served his country well. That works. Oh, and she's over here crying. This one, she's crying about Esther, which has, Esther's been dead, like, the majority of the Let's Play. That's okay. Um, so, let's see. Where is Charles? There is his lovely lady. Oh, my goodness. She's so huge. Um, we're going to have him do some, um... Why just go away? He must be like in in a phase or something. Um, we're gonna have him ask for advice because he's still so sad. And then we're gonna have him do some romantic. Oh, exchange promise rings. That's let's see. He's gonna do a gloomy compliment. We'll just have them do a couple interactions there to get them chatting. And then all right, so this one, this is Edward who is the youngest of Margaret and Marie's family. So we're going to have Lillian come do an introduction there. I kind of don't want her to be with him because that would just be like one more from that family. But I also can't remember. Who is this one? This is Emma Wyman. This is Bessie's sister. So we could have Walter meet her. Let's see, friendly introduction there. And then Marie can also come and meet Harry. Friendly introduction there. Okay. At least I want them to all meet each other so that we can, like, have them over to the house, you know? That'll work well. Who is this one? This one is Marie. Oh, that's the other Marie, which I kind of don't want her just because I don't want two Maries. How sad is that? But, you know, that's how it is. Okay. They're all just, like, hanging out outside of the church, but that's okay. I'm gonna let them all do a little a little chit-chatting here, kind of getting to know each other. And, um, yeah, that's that sounds like a good plan for the afternoon. And we do have these two little sweetie pies are out here cloud-gazing together. He has just been really, really sad. He's still seven hours from, um... Robert dying, and then he was remembering a sin that passed away. He keeps going over to Ethel's grave and crying, which is just sad. So, poor kiddo. And then what's this one doing? She is... Oh, they're cloud gazing, too. So, she is over here with uh, George Wyman. So, that is another one of the Wyman kids. Oh, and it looks like uh, Walter's coming out here with yet another one of the Wyman kids. So, like, all three of our kids and all three of the Wyman kids are all cloud gazing. Um, <laughs> that's a little odd. Um, let's see. Perhaps we should have, um, let's see. Who else is here for Walter? Because I thought, yeah, Ethel. Let's actually have him not cloud gaze with Emma, even though she's very pretty. Let's have her him instead. Um, where, where did Ethel go? She was here because I remember them talking to each other she leave? Maybe she did. Is she upstairs? I wonder. She must have left. So let's have her Ethel. Um, let's see. Invite to hang out at current lot to Ethel. Where is she? Hmm. She must still be here if she's not on this list. Can we call her over? chat no that's just a text though i don't want to text because we don't have cell phones where is she i want them to get to know each other better because then that will um make it so that not every kid is marrying people from the exact same family um i don't know where she went she's disappeared oh well we'll have to uh maybe do that later then i suppose but i'm gonna let everybody 
finish up their conversations here, and then we will head back home to the farm. All right, so we're back at the house, and some people have gone to bed. Um, we've also got, I've got the farm hands gathered at the moment. Here, let's turn this music off. Um, the farm hands are out here because it, we came home and everything needed to be watered, like, desperately. So that's good that they're out there doing that. I also made a couple of small changes to who all's in the farm hands. I wanted to make it so that, um... It was mostly Sims that don't live in our household, so that our household can harvest and then other people in town can come over and take care of the fields. So we've got um, Samuel still there, um, and who's the other one? Uh, that might be it. Samuel's the only one who is still a household member who is a farmhand, and that's just because um, he didn't know, um, William didn't know enough other guys to come, and I did kind of want it to be the guys because I want the girls to be in the um, women's auxiliary. So we'll, we'll replace Samuel and Ida, actually, in the farmhands, so we'll get to that once he meets some more people, which he probably will do once Lillian invites some guys over, so um, we'll have to do that on another Another part though because um, it is getting late for them now I am gonna have most of them head on to bed let's see what are you doing mama oh you were eating is that all you needed to do yeah let's have her come in we'll have her take a bath and then go on to sleep and then what is William up to he he is going to bed as well okay so we're gonna have everybody go to bed and I'm expecting Marie will go into labor like any second. So that'll probably be the next thing that we will. All right, so it's 3.30 in the morning. Lillian woke, or uh, Marie woke up and she was grabbing something to eat and she has gone into labor. So we do need to, uh, I'm gonna let her finish eating just so that her hunger gets better. But then we are gonna go upstairs and have a baby. So let's, um, Let's figure out, actually, I don't want the crib to be upstairs because then they have to go upstairs every time they need to feed it or something. Hmm, it worked really well for them to have the cribs right here in their room. But I hate to kick them out of their bedroom because they're still the parents in this house. Um, let's see, perhaps, maybe the baby could be like right here in the hallway. That's such an odd place for the baby to be. Or maybe the grandparents are helping to take care of the baby. Well, no, but she's going to breastfeed, so that's going to be... Here, I'm just going to put it... I'm going to put it here in the hallway. I know that's a weird place for it, but I think... I think given our uh, situation, it probably works the best. My thought process is that once... Um, I know I don't want that. I want kids. Once... Um, Samuel, which I don't even want to think about it, but once Samuel passes away, then they will have that bedroom. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to put it, let's put it here so that it's a little less in the line of congestion. Okay. So once she's done eating, she's going to come and have the baby and we will get to have a baby, you guys. And then after she has this baby, I do want to real quick hop out into Manage Worlds and see if the toddlers, um, if Rose's kids are toddlers. And if so, we'll name them. And I want to see if Margaret had her baby yet, um, because timing wise, I would think that she probably did. And that would be Robert's baby. Um, so lots going on it's very exciting let's see what are you up to charles oh you're eating too excellent don't know why you're up so early maybe you heard marie complaining <laughs> about her labor pains um we probably should wake william up though because he will want to have a parental freak out probably um and i did realize one of the things that i need to be doing um for our um world war one is that we they all have to have a negative trait and so the fact that we gave William gloomy as his uh, other adult trait actually the fact that we gave William uh, gloomy as his other adult trait actually worked out really well for us so we'll just need to make sure that I go back and make that change for the others who have gone off to war okay come and have your baby mama oh my gosh you guys she's like having her baby in the hallway it's so weird. <laughs> and here comes William, and he's like, oh my gosh, freaking out, baby. 
They like had their secret like elopement and now they're having babies in the hallway. All right, let's see what she had. It's a boy, yay. Okay, let's see, what year are we in? I think I haven't done the calculation. Sorry guys, I do that after I record. I think we might be in 1915. So let's see what popular boy names would have been in 1915 um we've got okay uh john william james robert joseph we haven't had a joseph yet let's let this one be joseph and it's entirely possible that joseph is going to be uh the next heir um joseph may have been one of their uncle names i can't remember but it doesn't matter because we don't have a joseph in the game at the moment so Joseph, Joseph, it is excellent. Very exciting, you guys. Congratulations to William and Marie on their little baby, their little new boo. So exciting. I love that. Oh, and Charles is in the man, uh, good manners range. <laughs> Let's go ahead, get in here. See our little buddy. Oh, <laughs> little wiggly guy that he is. No, oh, yay! Congratulations. Okay, so next, let's um here. Let me get the walls back to normal here. Yeah, you're gonna want to feed him. Let's see. We need to change diaper. And let's breastfeed him. Oh, no, nope, not bottle feeding. Got to breastfeed him. And then hopefully that'll make him happy. Let's see if that works. Is that what he needed? Nope. Um, maybe. Oh, wait, that did work. Yay. All right. And all oh, these fields are looking so much better. Let's go ahead and end that gathering. That way that's done. And how's everybody else doing? We do have um, a hungry dad. How about you come and eat some of this random food that's just like sitting out here? Come eat tofu casserole. It's a vegetable casserole. That's a weird glitch. See how they made vegetable casserole, but when you click on it, it says tofu. They definitely didn't make tofu casserole because tofu did not exist at that point in time. Let's have her change this dirty diaper. Have grandma come and meet you. And then, oh, never mind. Uncle is going to do it. Let's have her repair that and then clean it. Um, <laughs> look at Marie. She's like getting down. She's like, ah, I've had my baby. I'm going to dance now. <laughs> oh, let's make sure that our teens. Oh, and Lillian's not going to school anymore either. So let's make sure none of them go to school. Um, here. Why don't you have Marie come and take care of this? Have her change the dirty diaper. I think that's what he needs. Don't just cuddle him. Actually do something useful. Change his diaper. Did that fix his mood? Yes, it did. Perfect. Okay. So while they're all doing their thing. Oh, let me just. Let's wait until it's time to tell the kids not to go to school. Um, before I switch over into manage worlds. Okay. So let's get. Charles will not go to high school, and Walter should skip school, and Lillian should skip school. Okay, have them all doing that, and let's pop out to Manage Worlds and see if Rose's kids are old enough for us to rename. Okay, so it does look like um, in the Wakefield household, I don't see a bottle. So I don't think that she's had her baby yet. Um, actually, let's pop in there and see how much further she's got to go. Um, because if we catch her while she's in labor, then we could just go ahead and name the baby an appropriate name, like now, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm kind of tempted, if hers is a boy, I kind of want to name it Robert after his dad. Um, and if it's a girl, I don't know what we will name it. Um, <laughs> let's see, where is she at? Yeah, she is in her third trimester. So let's actually go ahead. I haven't ever checked this house to make sure there's not like a TV or anything. It's a cute little house though. This is another one that I got off of the gallery. I'm not seeing anything that gives me pause. 
Yeah, I think that this one's pretty appropriate. Uh, that's excellent. Let's figure out, though, where can we put a baby's bethanet? Um, maybe this will be a hallway baby, too, actually. Let's go ahead and put one right over here. Let's see. There we go. And I would love it. I don't want to stay in here and play too long because I don't want to lose the time with our family. But at the same time, I'd really like her to hurry up and go into labor so we could have the baby. Um, I'm going to give it a couple hours. Okay, so I've given her like five hours and she still hasn't gone into labor. So I'm going to go ahead, go back to manage worlds. We'll just have to come back and rename this one the way that we're doing with Rose's kids. And, um, yes, save and go to Manage Worlds. And then, um, with Rose's kids, actually, they, um, they did. I checked that they have aged up, so I'm going to pop into Kaz and make them look, uh, decades appropriate as well. All right, so we are back in their house. It looks like poor Rose is crying over the missing baby, which is just really, really sad. Um, but we do have little Mildred is right over here. Oh, they're all so sad. Goodness gracious. This is little Mildred, and she is uh, in her cute little party dress. And then we have little Dorothy, who is also just crying big alligator tears. Oh, my goodness. Um, look at those tears. Um, I'm hoping they're tears and not something else. Uh, <laughs> but that's the two little ladies that we've got in this household. Okay, we are back at our household. We have spent the whole day away at other houses. Um, but it looks like the bills have just been delivered. So I'm going to have William come out and pay those. And then we can make another uh, loan payment, actually. Um, yeah, let's do another $5,000 loan payment. So let's see. We want to do... Come on. There we go. Money. Uh, let's see. One, nine, three, two... So that means that our total loan payment to date is 45,000 simoleons out of the 65,000 simoleons. So we've got 20 more to go, which is very exciting. And I actually think that I'm going to leave this part here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the next step along in our journey with the Decades Challenge. Please leave a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking of the series. And uh, if you have any specific ideas on things you want the family to do. And also make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you can get more videos from me. I have my uh, new, uh, or excuse me, the Cats and Dogs Let's Play that I'm finishing up at this point. And I have just started a new video, um, a new challenge on my channel. I don't know if this video will come out before or after the first video for that challenge. So um, if you have seen it already, great. And if not, be on the lookout for a new challenge coming to my channel very, very soon. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks so much, y'all. Bye.